Hi all. In the last video, we travelled northeast to Yatina to cover the Adelaide Oval abduction of Joanne Ratcliffe and Kirsty Gordon. This time, we're headed about 80 minutes south from my hometown to Munta and southeast to Boa, and travelling back in time by almost 150 years to 1873 and the hanging of Elizabeth Walcock for the murder of her husband, Thomas. Elizabeth was the first and only woman to be hanged in South Australia for murder. There has been controversy surrounding Elizabeth's guilt for over a hundred years, but whether or not she murdered her victim, we must also acknowledge that she herself was a victim. A victim of child rape at the age of seven, leaving psychological scars and physically unable to bear children, a victim of drug dependence and a victim of domestic violence. All things that would be taken into account in today's justice system. But in 1873, as a woman, Elizabeth was not allowed to speak during her trial, denying her the right to defend herself. The jury in those times were all men and her lawyer failed to call any witnesses in her defence. To this day, many people believe that Elizabeth is innocent of her crime. In fact, historian Alan Peters has petitioned twice for a posthumous pardon to be granted. The second was denied in 2011. But if you visit the old Adelaide Jail, which is now a museum, you will always find fresh flowers placed where Elizabeth's body, like many other prisoners of the time, was buried between the inner and outer walls of the prison, marked only by initials and the date of her death. I hope you find her story as interesting as I did.
Elizabeth Walcock, you have been found guilty after a lengthened and most careful inquiry of the awful crime of murder. It is now my duty to pass sentence upon you. The jury have recommended to you mercy on account of your youth, and that will be my duty to forward that recommendation to His Excellency the Governor, in whose hands the prerogative of mercy is reposed by our most gracious Sovereign the Queen. I have now only the solemn duty to perform of pronouncing the sentence of the court, which is that you be taken from the place from whence you were bought and there hanged by the neck until you are dead. I have to fix a date for your execution, which will take place on Tuesday, December 30th. I express no opinion as to the recommendation of the jury. In the event of your sentence of the court being carried out, may the Lord have mercy upon your soul. Thank you.